Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with another Hamilton reaction. This is another song that didn't make the final cut. It's Let It Go. And uh, interesting title choice for a song given the ubiquitousness of uh, Frozen. So yeah, uh, interested in what uh, point in time this song was taken from and where in the musical it fits in. But yeah, let's check it out. What in the hell was that? What in the hell are you doing downtown? Don't you know that Burr is gonna run against your father to humiliate uh, you and try to bring us down? I will not let our family be embarrassed like this. I grab a pen and paper, let the whole world know. You swing at my family, you better not miss. You better have another punch to throw. You could let it go. Let it go. Interesting song. Um, takes place after, well, when Burr is running for senator, and they repurposed that part where he says, uh, shake hands with him, charm her. They did that for his presidential run instead. So, yeah, this was definitely, they, instead, they decided to just skip straight to him winning, um, which is really interesting. But, yeah, Eliza telling him to let it go is really interesting because it something else could have happened much earlier if Hamilton wasn't advised to let it go. And yeah, uh, there's also there's a lot of foreshadowing in the song. There's I think it was Eliza saying people will always be critical. They'll make the personal political, which I mean, it foreshadows what Hamilton does. He makes the personal. Uh, his affair with Maria, Maria, Mrs. Reynolds, Maria Reynolds, um, into something political, into fighting off a political uh, attack, and yeah, and yeah, uh, she was saying that the president, if he, the president were here, he'd tell you to do the same thing, and he's like, no, the president's not here, and he's here. Uh, you heard about Burr? You didn't kill him, did you? Um, but yeah. I felt like this song was not particularly strong in the musical sense. There was a lot uh, going on, a lot of hecticness. But I did really appreciate some of the lines that were written. Um, how a lot of them overlap. There was the Stay Alive for Me. Uh, a lot of songs, previous songs coming together. And... Yeah. it was. It's really interesting to see the songs that didn't make the cut and how they made parts of it made it into other songs in the future but uh yeah anyway guys uh thanks for watching i'm not sure what's next let me see dear theodosia reprise is up next and uh yeah that's gonna be we're gonna be one week ahead over on patreon in the link in the description below if you're watching this on youtube but yeah thanks for watching leave a like uh really helps with the channel subscribe and i'll see you guys next time